Hello, my name is Felix Feuste. I'm the product manager of Votano 100, which is our measurement device for voltage transformers. In this video, I'm going to show you the new features in version 230. Firstly, let's have a look at the CVTC divider test. This one is located right here on the start screen of the Votano software, and it's a completely new test method that is aimed at testing the capacitive stack of CVTs. Uh, and in this unique method, uh, we have the possibility to separately measure the upper capacitance C1 and lower capacitance C2 uh, of the uh, stack, uh, even uh, if the CVT does not have any test steps or something, uh, because we are measuring uh, by injecting test signals uh, that are frequency variable from the secondary side. To prepare the test, I need to enter minimal information. It can look like this, uh, like uh, the, the rated ratio of the transformer and uh, the nominal values for the capacitances. And then the first setup is like this, where uh, we uh, connect to the secondary winding of the CVT uh, and then to the lower part of the capacitor stack. Uh, after this measurement, we add a cable to the upper part of the stack and yeah, once those two frequency sweeps are done, uh, our measurement is complete and we can uh, see the results, which will look something like this. And we see that we have individual results for C1 and C2, but also a result for the overall capacitance uh, and for the capacitive ratio. The second feature in our list is the import reference excitation curve. This one is part of the advanced CVT test. Uh, and it is here in the test configuration. Uh, if I activate it, I can load a different Votano measurement, a previously done Votano measurement, uh, and use this excitation curve instead of performing one in this test session. So for instance, loading this uh, Votano measurement, which has been done previously, uh, we will now use uh, the excitation curve measured there as a reference curve for this measurement, which means that in this test sequence, no actual excitation curve measurement will be performed. And this could be used for several things. Uh, so for instance, if I have measured the same CVT previously uh, and I just want to save time, I can uh, use the excitation curve that was measured there. Uh, but it is also very handy to measure uh, or to, to make possible tests on VTs or CVTs that have tapped windings. Because sometimes if I measure on a partial winding, uh, it may not be able to fully saturate uh, the core in the excitation curve measurement. So if I use this feature, I could perform a, a full test sequence on the partial winding, but use uh, the excitation curve that was previously measured on the full winding. And the good thing is that automatically uh, it will be scaled to be correct uh, for the uh, part of the partial winding. The next feature on our list is the custom burden distribution. And this feature uh, is available in the advanced VT and CVT test. Uh, and it's located right here. And here it's possible to set the burden distribution for assessment for each of the windings uh, separately so that I can also consider uh, quite complicated burden distribution scenarios uh, for my assessment. So settings like this, if desired, are now possible. We have also added a feature called uh, Consider Lead Resistance. This one is available here uh, and it's best illustrated like this. Uh, so if I have a situation where it's not possible to perform our measurement directly at the secondary winding, uh, but we need to do it from, from for instance, a junction box, uh, we have an additional voltage drop here, which, which is called R-Lead. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and with this tool I can estimate uh, for a certain uh, set of wire parameters like a certain length uh, and a certain uh, wire cross section I can estimate the lead resistance and directly apply it to my measurement uh, and like this it will not affect the accuracy uh, of the of the end result because this our lead resistance will be considered or eliminated from the uh, voltage drop uh, as we would have observed it directly at the uh, at the terminus of the VT. There's also um, yeah some smaller improvements that we've added. One of them is the fire transfer dialog, which is located here. And with this dialog, it's possible to open files from the PC uh, and transfer them uh, to the Votano or vice versa. And last but not least, Votano is now also available in Portuguese language. I hope this video was helpful. If you have questions, you can contact me directly or my colleagues at the technical support at Omicron.